What's going on guys, Bangalini here coming back at you with another video. Today we are doing another quiz over here on Sporkle. And I just typed in interceptions. I'm looking for more defensive quiz. I've been doing a lot of ones with running backs. No one's commented about it yet. Um, and I guess they can't now because I've already said it. But I've just been doing running back, running back, running back, running back. I want to mix it up. Could do wide receiver, but we're going to take it onto the defensive side of the ball. And I'm like, hey, we'll do most interceptions. And I could do top 25 interception leaders. That's going to be one for another time. We're going to quarterbacks. NFL most intercepted quarterbacks. If you guys wanted me to do a quiz, be sure to tweet at me. Uh, Twitter.com slash Bengal Designs. I don't really look at them in the comments. It gets marked as spam, and I don't usually look at my spam. So be sure to tweet them at me. Follow me on Twitter. Link to everything you're going to need, including second channel, merchandise, whatever, is in the description. But here we go. We have six minutes to get 30. Can you name the quarterbacks who have thrown the most career interceptions? I think a few of them. At least at least, at least least two I can name, probably. Six minutes to do it. Could be tough. Um... Guys on here as early as 1957 up until, I assume, there's got to be some current guys on here. I see 2015, 2016, 2016. Okay, yeah. I should be able to do this. I already see Eli Manning on the list. I think he might be the one current guy. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this. I am ready. Number one, Brett Favre. I know Eli's got to be on here. Peyton is on here as well. Peyton's thrown 251 career interceptions. Is the GOAT, Vinny Testaverde? Of course he is. Of course he is. Played on 100 different teams. What about Sonny Jurgensen? No. Y.A. Tittle? There he is. Fran the Man Tarkenton? There he is. What about Dante Culpepper? I don't think he played enough years. I wonder if Randall, speaking of the Vikings. No. 49 to 75. Who could that be? Johnny Unitas is on here. He's 56 to 73. Roman Gabriel, maybe. What about Daryl LaMonica? No. I know the snake's got to be on here. Kenny Stabler. There he is. What about Kenny Anderson? No. What about... Uh, just name Ken Stabler. What about Jim Plunkett? There he is. Speaking of the Raiders... Joe Theismann, maybe? No, he didn't play enough years. What about Len Dawson? No. Uh, what about Kurt Warner? He played a lot of years. Warren Moon? There, he's on there. Uh, Drew Brees, maybe? Drew Brees is on here as well. He's one of two active players. 57. Do we do Ron Jaworski yet? He's not even on here. Uh, a lot of players early on. It's going to be kind of tough. Jim Kelly? No. 196 is a lot of picks. Someone had to play for a while. Jim, not Jim. Jake Plummer, he's not here. John Elway's got to be on here. John Elway is on here. Is Dan Marino. Dan Marino is. 13 out of 30 so far, four minutes to go. 57 to 73. That's not really in my, my range. What about Norm Van Brocklin? That would have been funny. He threw for 500-plus yards in a name. That's why I know the name. What about Vince Ferragamo on that same same trend? No. Phil Simms got to be on here. No, he's not. I mean, it's 1937. How am I supposed to come up with some of these? I guess, I mean, I, I picked the quiz, so. 73 to 90. That's playing a lot of years. Joe Montana. No. Steve Young. No. Good for them, dude. Boomer Esiason. No. Like, you got to think of good quarterbacks, but at the same time, you got to think of terrible quarterbacks that played for a while, and those names are often difficult to remember. Mark Rippian. Jim Everett. <laughs> Why am I writing these names? Mark Bolger. Why would he be on here? God. Doug Williams. I'm trying to think of even comment. Tom Brady? No, he's he's current and he's so good. Let's think of teams. Let's think of teams here. Jets, Joe Namath. Oh, Terry Bradshaw, for sure. Okay. Boom. Those are two big ones. Uh Jim McMahon. No. Uh Trent Dilfer? No. What about Trent Green? Also incorrect. Mark Brunell's gotta be on here. 
He's not either. Jake DeLome. Oh, my goodness. There's so many old-time players that I have not come up with. I got two Giants quarterbacks, at least Wyatt Tittle and France Argonne. I guess that's not really a good thing for the Giants. I don't know why I'm kind of pleased with that. 93 to 2006. Who falls under that category? I have no idea. I'm trying to think of guys, man. It's it's so tough. 95 to 2011. Who retired in 2011? I think it's going to help if I just go with teams. I only have a minute and 45 to go. Let's think Giants. We named pretty much all good Giants quarterbacks. Eagles. There could be an Eagles QB on here. I'll try Donovan McNabb. He's not on here. I'll also try Drew Bledsoe. Tony Romo. Drew Bledsoe's on here, though, at least. Um, Redskins. I did Theisman. I did Jurgensen. Those are pretty much... What about Sammy Baugh? Sammy Baugh's on here. Okay, he's 37 of 52. Um, let's move the AFC East. Bills. Pretty much named the Bills quarterbacks. Patriots, same deal that I can come up with. Dolphins. Bob Greasy? Okay, he's not on here. What about Earl Morrill? No. Uh, Bills, Jets, Patriots, Dolphins. Yeah, okay. South, Saints. Archie Manning, we already did Manning. Uh, Falcons. Matt Ryan wouldn't be on here. I can't really come up with many more. Not Michael Vick, probably. Um, come on, just think about it. Who, who could be on here? Falcons, Saints, Panthers. Steve Burline wouldn't be on here. There's no point in even typing him. Panthers, Falcons, Saints, Bucks, did Testaverde, did Young, even though he's not even a Bucks quarterback, really. There could be another one on here. I don't really know. Uh, West Raiders, I named a few. Rich Gannon, maybe. But Jeff Garcia. No, I was hoping for Jeff Garcia. I really was. I'm pretty much going to tap out here. Well, I mean, time's up anyway. That one was a difficult one. So I missed George Blanda. Those are horrific numbers. I should have come up with John Hadle. Norm Sneed, no. Jim Hart, Bobby Lane, Dan Fouts. Ah, uh, I should have come up with Dan Fouts for sure. That was stupid of me. That was stupid I didn't do Dan Fouts because I was thinking about him. Like When I do think of three quarterbacks to, who go together for some reason, I don't know why, but it's kind of, I guess, the time period, but it's Ken Stabler, Ken Anderson, and Dan Fouts. Chargers, Bengals, Raiders. I forgot Dan Fouts which is upsetting. John Brody, I could have come up with. I didn't. Babe, really, there's not even a chance. Joe Ferguson wouldn't have thought. Steve Grogan wouldn't have thought. Steve DeBerg. I think that, I think that if I recall, I think Steve DeBerg played with a nail in, like, his index finger. Something like that. We're going to look into that. Dave Craig, okay, and then Kerry Collins, another Giants quarterback. Where did Dave Craig? I want to say he played time with the Giants briefly. Um... Obviously Seahawks, but did he? No, I guess not. I want Steve DeBerg. Nail. Was it Steve DeBerg who played with a nail? Who is the quarterback? QB played with nail in index finger. No, I misspelled nail. Two L's. Will Greer. Hold on. I swear it was Steve DeBerg. Did he have something about his finger? Dislocated finger. If you guys know what I'm talking about, tell me out in the comment section below because I, I could have sworn there was something to do. I, it might not have been Steve DeBerg. I thought it was, though, where they had, like, a nail hanging out of their finger or something like that. I, I, I can't remember exactly... Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. Anyway, I guess in next quiz, we are going to head it, or go ahead and do the NFL Top 25 Interception Leaders. Don't really want to spoil any of those for me right now, but that's pretty much next on the docket in case you were curious. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Designs. Tweet me some quizzes. We actually have some really cool quizzes that were tweeted at me that were personally made for me, so I'm going to give those a shot in the next couple of videos. Um, if you want to make me personalized quizzes, 
that'd be kind of cool. Some people have. So I think the ones that we're going to do next are like Texas Longhorns drafted into the NFL and then New York Giant Pro Bowlers since whenever that was. I'm not really sure. I just saw them briefly, and I was in Texas when I got them, so I haven't had a chance to do them, and I'm just remembering them now. So those are going to be next on the docket. Thank you to whoever made those. I'll be sure to shout you out um, when I go and find those on my Twitter notifications. But, yeah, if you guys want to follow me on Twitter or check out my second channel, I'm going to be reviving my second channel and potentially even making a third. I'm not really sure about that yet, but definitely check out my second channel. Link in the description, merch, if you want it. But anyways, that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry to ramble here at the end, but I do have a lot to say that I can't really say when I'm doing the quiz. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoy it, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Shit, don't